This is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas with another Todd Talk. Today I want to talk with you about vehicle technology as it relates to sensors, especially as it relates to frontal impact crash protection. A lot of times people uh, get a false sense of security because they say, or they think, you know what, I don't really need to be paying as much attention to my, ve uh, to my vehicle's driving or I can be distracted in my vehicle because, after all, my vehicle has various safety sensors in place and safety systems in place that are going to automatically steer my vehicle away from hazards. It's going to automatically break my vehicle from potential hazards. Therefore, I don't really need to be paying attention as much as I need to. Well, I can tell you from personal experience handling these cases that these safety systems only work about 50% of the time. Here's why. Think about the way that the brake sensing systems work on vehicles. Most of those systems only work on stationary objects, and the stationary object has to be a certain size. For example, if you're driving down the road and, another, and you're following behind another vehicle, and if your vehicle does not have adaptive cruise control, you could theoretically run all the way into the back of that vehicle and run over that vehicle, and your vehicle would never brake because that vehicle is not stationary. If your system uh, is not designed to protect against trees or poles, your vehicle will not stop. Another example, what about the, if the vehicle in front of you is turning and you are only faced with the corner of the bumper? Your vehicle may not stop. T technology and safety are wonderful attributes when it comes to safety. But at the end of the day, the safety technology systems in place have to be paired with responsible driving. And at the end of the day, the captain of the ship still must remain uh, responsible and still must remain non-distracted.